this is our slides that we are going to share with you. We are going through the slides, the information on Utah. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay. So Utah University Tunku Abdul Rahman. Okay, Utah is a leading private university in Malaysia. Okay, but uh, we are a non for uh, a non for profit university. We aims to provide affordable quality education to everyone. Right, so Utah is actually a university by the people for the people. By uh, why we say so because. Uh, Utah, we receive a great support and funding from the generous contributions and benefactors, alumni and individuals, even from the hawkers, people on the street, you know, uh, during our formation time. So thanks to all of them. So without them, this could not be happening. All right. So Utah is actually uh, a little bit of history on Utah. Lah. Utah, we started in 2002, 2002 at a small campus located in Petaling Jaya. Okay, maybe some of your brothers and sister last time studied in Pataling Jaya campus, so they might knew this one. So we started in 2002 in our small campus at PJ, Pataling Jaya, with only 411 students. Okay, uh, during that time, we only have eight degree programs. Okay, imagine that, remember, eight degree programs. Later in 2007, our Utah Kampar campus opened its door to the first batch of 500 students. Okay, now, Okay, imagine Utah in 2020, our enrollment has reached over 22,000 students in 119 academic programs. So our program is growing. So we start small now, we go big. Okay, so today uh, we have two campuses. Okay, you don't get confused. We have two campuses in Utah. The first one we have uh, our Utah Kampa campus in Para, okay, in, order, in northern part of our country. And then the second one, we have our Utah uh, City Campus uh, located in Bandar Sungai Long in Kajang, Selangor. All right? Okay, you can see in the slides there. Okay, the top picture is our award-winning campus in Para. Okay, our campus in Kampai actually has received the PAM Gold Award. Okay. Uh, in education category at the PAM Awards 2013. PAM stands for Pertubuhan Architect Malaysia. Okay, they give us an award because of its excellent architectural masterpiece. Means that our Kampa campus is very beautiful. Okay, very nice, very big. Very nice. <laughs> this campus is strategically located off the North South Highway and is about 170 kilometers from KL, about two hours away from the city if you are traveling by car. If you plan to take public transportation, let's say from let's say from KL, from KL Central to KTM Kampa Station, the duration about uh, one and a half hours, one one and a half hours lah. Huh? Let's say you are from KL, from KL Central to Utah KTM Kampa, uh, KTM Kampa Station, and if let's say you are from northern part of Malaysia, let's say from Penang, you are taking from Penang Central to our uh, to KTM Kampa. The journey around two hours, uh, two hours eleven minutes, as according to Google Map lah. This one you can check. Yeah. Okay. Another campus is located in Bandar Sungai Long. The bottom picture, as you can see, this one also we call it a city campus for Utah. Okay. Bandar Sungai Long campus from KL City, approximately around twenty four kilometer. Okay, let's say you are traveling uh, by 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 plane. Let's say you are from East Malaysia, from from Sabah, from Sarawak, or you traveling by plane uh, from KL Airport to our Utah Sungai Long campus. Maybe we take you around one hour to one hour thirty minutes, depending on the traffic. Okay, uh, you may also use public transportation such as MRT. Uh, you are taking Sungai Besi Kajang Lane. Uh, if let's say you are taking Sungai Besi Kajang, you can stop at Bukit Dukung Station, the nearest to Utah. Okay, remember Bukit Dukung. From Bukit Dukung, you can take MRT feeder bus, rapid bus, okay, to reach to Utah Sungai Long doorstep. You will stop right in front of Utah doorstep. Easy, very simple. Even kids also can do this. Okay, guys? All right. So let's moving on. Yeah, one moment again. Right. Sorry, yeah. So for those who like to ask questions, you can post it at the Q&A section. So later we will review it together. Lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't uh, put at the chat because later we might miss your uh, questions. Okay, all right. So now moving on, I'd like to talk more about our campus before we go deeper into our programs, lah. So we talk one by one. So now let's uh, look at our Utah Kampa uh, campus more closer. 
All right, this is the aerial view of our Kampa campus. Okay, as you can see, uh, this campus is built on a 1,300 acre piece of land donated by the Perak State Government. Okay guys, so thanks a lot to Perak State Government. Because of them, we can you know, build our Utah Kampa campus. Okay, uh, there are about 25 scenic lakes inside our campus. Okay, in Kampa campus, uh, we have approximately around 12,000 students. Okay, right. Now, this is our Tun Dr. Ling Leong Sik Hall. All right, this is our grand hall. This one was built on two, uh, sorry, this one was built in 12,000 square meters plot of land. It's quite big. It was opened during our 10th anniversary ceremony in 2012 in 2012. And then it was named after our visionary founder, Tun Dr. Ling Leong Sik. So the purpose of this grand hall uh, was mainly used for our convocations, exams, sports, and etc. So guys, let's say you are studying in Utah, you have completed your studies. This is exactly the place that you're going to come for your uh, graduation, for your convocation ceremony. You can bring your parents, you can bring your siblings, your family members to watch you on stage collecting your scrolls. Okay, right. Moving on. Okay, another unique feature in our campus, in our in our campus in Kampa Pera, yeah. These two statues, as you can see, this is a pair of bronze sculptures of Confucius and Einstein. The only place that you can see both of them are sitting together, playing what board games. Uh, you can't find this one at any other place. Only in Utah Kampa campus. Okay, the reasons to see uh, uh, because uh, we would like to signify the fusion of the East and the West. Okay, because Utah embraces both the cultural diversities, wisdoms, and philosophies of the East and complements them with the Western development in science and technology. So once you become a student, let's say you choose Kampa campus, you can visit the statue, you take photo, selfie, and then you can upload in your social media, share among your friends. And your friends will know, oh, are you studying in Utah? You know? <laughs> right. So moving on. Okay, for your information, Utah also putting in effort to keep our campus green, clean, and sustainable. In our campus, in, uh, in our Utah Kampa campus, uh, we have a Utah bird sanctuary. Okay, this one is located on a small island in the middle of the lake campus with around 100 species of birds surveyed on the campus. Right, so if let's say you like, uh, uh, you like pets, right? Uh, this is going to be a perfect place for you to study, right? Okay, a little bit of our Kampa campus just now. Now let's focus on our Utah Sungailong campus. So on the screen, as you can see, this is our Utah Sungailong campus or Utah City campus. We have two buildings, okay? This is our Sungailong campus. It is purpose built two buildings situated in the heart of Bandar Sungailong town. From the picture on your right hand side, uh, I'm not sure whether it's correct or not, but for me, it's on my right hand side. Lah. It's a brown color buildings, right? Right, right, right hand side, right, right, right hand side. Right hand side. <laughs> one we call it uh, Utah KA Block in our Sungai Long. KA Block, our, our first building in Utah Sungai Long. Lah. Okay, Utah KA Block accommodates students from uh, Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, FMHS, and also Faculty of Accountancy and Management. On your left hand side, our KB Block building. Okay, KB Block Building, this one accommodates students from Foundation, Center for Foundation Studies. We have students from Faculty of Creative Industries, Lee Kong Chen Faculty of Engineering and Science, uh, Postgraduate Centers, and Admin uh, Officers. Lah. Okay, so remember, if let's say you are choosing Sungai Long, let's say uh, once our MCO lift up, you visit, uh, you, you come back to our campus, we have KA Block and also KB Block. Okay, okay. So our Utah Sungai Long is surrounded by housing areas, so accommodation will be uh, not an issue for you. Okay. Uh, other than that, also surrounded by public transportation, shop lots, restaurants, healthcare centers, clinic, bank, all at walking distance. Lah. In Sungai Long campus itself, we have approximately around 8,000 students. So if we combine at one time, Kampa and Sungai Long, we have about 20,000 students at one point of time. That's quite a lot, right? Okay. These are some of the galleries, the pictures of our uh, facilities in, in, in Sungai Long. Okay, 
this campus is equipped with sufficient and up to facilitate facilities such as lecture theatres, gymnasium, a multi-purpose hall, a library, a library uh, with an 800 seating capacity, it's quite big, a computer lab, science and engineering, uh, science and engineering labs, we have broadcasting studios, we have architectural studios, medical labs, TCM museum for traditional Chinese medicine students, we have early childhood education center, game room for game students, simulation watch for nursing students, PCO center, and many more. So these are some of the features in our Sungai Long campus, as you can see. Yeah? So all of this you can see for yourself, you can experience for yourself if, let's say, you join us in Sungai Long campus. Okay, so a little bit of our campus, Kampai in Sungai Long. So now let's move on into rankings and awards. I won't go details on this one, uh, just to highlight uh, some of the information regarding rankings and awards. Lah. So in terms of rankings and awards, uh, I would like to highlight that this year, Utah is ranked 500 to 600 in the Times Higher Education World University Ranking. Okay, and then 111 to 120 in Asia Pacific, 111 in Asia University Rankings, 101 to 200 in University Impact Rankings. Okay, so for your information as well, we are second after University Malaya based on the overall Malaysian UC ranked by the THE World University Ranking. If we rank, if, you, if we narrow down the rank into our Malaysian market, Utah is actually second after University Malaya, just to let you know. So you guys can check it for yourself at THE website. Okay, and then uh, Utah is also ranked in band 800 to 1000 in QS World, 251, 300 in QS Graduate Employability Ranking, 181 in Asia University Ranking, and rank for uh, number 451 to 500 for QS World, you see ranking by subject in 2019 for business and management and also engineering, elect electrical and electronic engineering. Okay, so these are some of the information for you guys to know uh, about our rankings. Lah. You can check the details in the THC website and also QS website. Okay, so moving on. Now, uh, we are going to talk about our programs. I believe you guys are waiting for this one. Okay. Okay. So in Utah, we have a total of 119 academic programs. Okay. Comprising of four foundation programs. Okay. Four foundation programs, two foundation programs in Kampa and two in Sungai Long. We have 72 bachelor's degree, 31 master's program, and also 12 PhD programs. Okay. And okay, for your information as well, 90% of these programs have been fully accredited and the remaining of 10% have obtained the provisional accreditation because it is a new program. So when you launch new program, you can't get full accreditation. Okay, so hope you guys can clear on that one. Okay, if let's say you are interested to study in Utah, okay, let's say you are going through our website, make sure you check the first thing, check on the minimum entry requirements, okay, based on your qualification. Another important thing, make sure that your English language requirement fulfill the university needs. Because if let's say you do not fulfill the university English language requirements, you are required to enroll and pass the English Enhancement Program in Utah. We call it EEP. So for local students, we have two types of EEP students. Uh, EEP program, sorry. Uh, the first one we call it EEP, English Enhancement Program, prerequisite to foundation programs. Okay, if let's say your SPM, you don't have a credit, you only have pass, you have to go through this EEP for four weeks, about one month before you can proceed to your foundation. So this one comes first, then only you pass this one, you will proceed to your foundation. Okay, and then second one, let's say you're applying using STPM. So if let's say your MUET you have been to and unfortunately your SPM English also you only have passed. So you still need to join this one, EEP uh, prerequisite to bachelor degree program. The duration is longer a bit. This one will be about uh, eight week, about eight weeks, about two months lah, approximately before you can start your bachelor degree programs. So for more details on this one, feel free guys to check on our website. So all the information is available in our website, right? So next one. So among uh, 119 programs, just now I, I, I 
inform to you. Uh, this one is categorized into 10 areas of studies. Okay, you can see from your screen, we have accounting, business, and economics, actuary science, mathematics, and process management, agriculture and food science, we have art, social science, and education, Chinese studies, creative industries and design, engineering, technology, and big environment, information, communication, technology, ICT, okay, life and physical sciences, as well as medicine and health sciences program. Okay, to brief uh, more details about these uh, programs, uh, I would like to invite my colleague here, Mr. Ken, okay, to uh, maybe to share with you more deeper about our programs available in Utah. So without further ado, uh, please welcome Mr. Ken. Okay, so uh, thank you, Risman. Uh, so first of all, uh, I need your help to help me press the slide, yeah, because I can't control the slide. No problem, okay. Ken. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, help me press next, please. Okay, so now we shall start with our foundation program. So Utah and Utah, we offer a both foundation program, which is the foundation in arts and also foundation in science. Where this foundation you can find in either campus, either you want to study in Kampa or Sungai Long is up to your preference. So student you yourself can choose your education journey, either you want to start at Kampa or Sungai Long. But however, once you finish your one year of study, you need to go to the respective campus for your bachelor degree. So this is something special about Utah. When you apply to our foundation program, you need to choose uh, which bachelor degree you want to go for. You will receive like example, you apply for engineering program, you will go for this foundation in science leading to maybe civil engineering. There are some exceptional case for foundation which you cannot choose your campus, which listed here. For foundation program that leading to our architectures, Chinese medicines, uh, medicines, animations, game design, and also game development, your foundation only offer in our Sungalong campus. While for a uh, foundation leading to these uh, Chinese studies, your options only will be in Kampa campus. Okay. So the requirement for our foundation program is actually quite simple. Uh, for both foundation in arts and foundation in science, general, we need at least five credits in your SPM. Foundation in science, we also require five credits, but including one mathematics subjects and also two science subjects. Okay. Our foundation, the next intake will be the 1st of June, and we will be having our online orientation on 15th of May. Which is, let me check, uh, technically will be your next Friday, okay? So for those who are interested that still not yet apply, you can quickly apply online, okay? We have this online application portal, okay? Clear? Come next, please. Okay, now come to our undergraduate program. So undergraduate program is designed for those who completed your pre-U level, which is the most common will be your STTM, N-level, foundation, and UEC. For those students who already completed your pre-U, you also need to fulfill the minimum entry requirement, yeah? So for STTM, N-level, we need to have at least two principal passes. While for UEC, you need to have at least five credits in your UEC. A uh, certain program, we have a specific entry requirement, feel free to check with us or you can check in our website to ensure you have fulfilled the entry requirement for each program. So for most of our programs are actually three years in duration, except for those uh, professional related program, such as uh, engineering will be four years, your nursing, physio, and Chinese medicines, medicine will be four and five years. Okay, I got one question. What is mean by credits? Credits uh, for SPM will be a C, okay? For SDPM, principal passes, which mean a CGPA 2.0, okay? For UEC, credit will be B. So different uh, level, we have different grading, yeah? So please let us know what is your uh, academic qualifications uh, when you apply to Utah. Okay, sure, welcome. So next, coming in, 
Uh, our different bachelor degree, as my colleague mentioned, we actually offer in different campus because of the location of our faculty and also the MOH approval where the project should be conducted. So for more questions, as sorry, you can put in the Q&A section so we can review it together later on because it will keep on disrupting my flow. Thank you. Uh, okay, where am I? Should be conducted, okay. Some program, it might appear in a both campus, such as maybe you can see on the slide will be our accounting. We offer in both Kampa and Sungai Lao, but one is three years, one is four years. Again, they might look similar, but they are not having the same professional recognition. So if you are not clear, feel free to chat with us. Next one, to showcase other program. Okay, we have others program, which like Sungai Lao, more focus on like creative industry, Kampa, we more focus on ICT and etc. Okay, just to highlight, all our media of instruction and exam will be in English, except we have three programs that have con which is conducted in Mandarin. The first one will be journalism in Chinese media. Second will be Chinese study. The third is our Chinese medicine. So for our uh, this undergraduate intakes will be start on this 15th of June. So once again, for those who are interested, you can also apply online, okay? Next, thank you. Uh, next, please. Okay, come to our professional recognition. Uh, also, one thing you might consider when you're choosing a program or even the institution. Our professional degree program actually received recognition and accreditation by more than 20 professional bodies, both locally and internationally. You can see here. Uh, just to pick a very good example will be our accounting program. Utah accounting degree have received a professional paper exemption from like ACCA, CIMA, ICAW, CPA. And also for our actual science, our student will get the first three BE entry exam for the Society of Actuaries. For QS, you also get the uh, recognition from ICS and also BQSM as well. Yeah, once again, uh, for those who have to ask questions, you can post in the Q&A section, so we will review it together, okay? Okay, something uh, need to highlight here will be our Utah engineering degree are recognized by a board of engineer Malaysia, which is BM. And with this uh, BM recognition, our graduate can further their studies or work in 18 countries under this Washington Accord, which including Australia, Canada, China, Japan, Singapore, and so on, which total 18. If you're interested, you can Google Washington Accord. Okay. Next. Okay. Actually, I would like to say that uh, what made Utah so unique is not because of the global ranking you, uh, my colleague shared just now, not because of the affordable fees, but the most important is we ensure our education is actually relevant, uh, up to date, blend in with the latest industry technologies, able to build up a strong fundamental knowledge for our students, and the most, most, most important will be the character building of the student, which means you yourself, okay? So now about your education journey in Utah, uh, this flow chart here will give you a glimpse of what you can expect from studying in Utah, from joining us until your graduations. So first thing first, okay, participate in your e orientation. Okay, let me repeat again. Huh? For those who are not yet registered or interested, kindly you can apply online because our online orientation will start next Friday, 15th of May. Yeah? So you can participate in these uh, online orientations and then attend your classes. Uh, for foundation, your class will commence on 1st of June. For degree, will commence on 15th of June. Okay. So once you attend your class, meet some new friends, when you're allowed to back to campus, you also can join our club and society. In Utah here, we have a 78 active club and society waiting for you to join, okay? This type of club and society can separate into both cost-based and also non-cost-based, mostly separate by like maybe general interest. 
uh, performing creative arts, sports, voluntary, and also self-defense. Okay, and all these clubs and society are very active in organizing tons of events within our campus. So making our campus always occupied and happening every single day, uh, ready for MCO. <laughs> okay. So Utah, we are also uh, conducting a lot of commuting projects. Maybe some of you might have met us before. We conduct this kind of STEM talk or STEM workshop in your high school. We are also going to a new village to conduct this kind of new village projects, health campaign. Our students even give some like free tuition classes to all those rural region children. And all these community projects actually help to improve the students' uh, so-called communication skill, which should call it a soft skill, and improve your character building. Okay, just now, I did call a point called what is soft skill, right? Yeah. Here, number four, yeah? So make sure everyone is with me. Now it's number four. Uh, just FYI, for your information, Utah, we are the first university in Malaysia to set up this uh, Utah Soft Skill Development Certificate, USSDC for short. I know it's a very difficult term. This is a very structured certification system to recognize our student achievement and afford, and I'm sorry, effort to improve themselves in soft skill needed in this 21st century. Those skills which included is communication skill, leadership, teamwork, creative thinking, creativity, problem solving, and so on, and lifelong learning as well. Our students can earn the soft skill point throughout the study in Utah. And also you can attend some workshop off of our department of soft skill. After that, once you graduate, you have received two certificates. One will be your academic uh, qualification degree. Another will be your soft skill certificate, which add value to your resume as well. Okay. So now come to number five. Some students, uh, once they join Utah for maybe one year or even one to two semesters, they feel like they are senior and they would like to share their experience or want to guide your junior, okay? You can go to join this uh, peer helper program during your orientation. Or even some of you might be to our open day, you met our Utah ambassador, which also our current student will help to promote Utah and provide the guided campus tour for you all, okay? Then number six, participate in undergraduate research scheme. Okay, this is something very special. This research scheme is specially designed for those students that are interested in research area. We allow them to join research with our current researcher, okay? This program is to design and expose them and train them in research implementation or research steps, such as like journal reviewing, and then start to planning experiment, tabular data, and so on. In hope that we can incubate their research interest throughout their young age. In addition, we have a 32 research center in Utah, where allow our students to seek their research training and also attachment. Safe to say that we have a very strong research culture and also infrastructures to support this program. So for those who plan to further study in my master, you might try to join our undergraduate research scheme so that give you some preview for your master's studies, okay? Next, number seven will be our industrial training, aka internship. This will be a compulsory for all our undergraduate students that need to go through a three months or longer internship based on your programs. And throughout this internship can provide a student a real life experience and this opportunity for experiential learning. By complete internship, many companies actually know our students well. They may even offer a job for our student before they graduate, okay? So based on our track record, up to 95% of uh, Utah graduate here are employed within six months of graduations, uh, which including myself. <laughs> okay, number eight. Student mobility programs. So we always encourage our students to have this a global experience or international outlook throughout their life or education journey. So with around more than 250 MOU partner with us, our students are exposed to a lot of international opportunity such as like exchange program, study tour, internships, 
and joint research with other researchers from China, Korea, Singapore, Japan, just the name of few. Statistically, in 2019 alone, we have around uh, 1,000 outbound students and 1,100 inbound students involved in this study tool and student exchange with our partner universities. Okay. So for those who are interested to plan to have this kind of cultural experience in other country, once you join Utah, you can visit our soft skill uh, student affairs departments or even the internet, international student department to have this kind of exchange or study tour. Okay. Lastly, number nine, once you finish your program, go through all the study, the internship, the final year project, VIVA. Okay. You finally graduate from your bachelor degree then you can attend your convo in our Tun Music Hall. Make sure to take a lot of nice photo and become our Utah alumni and start off your lifelong journey. Lah. Okay, next response, please. Okay, this is just a showcase or illustration for some of the MOU we have in other country, our partner university in over this 28 economics. Okay, just a reference for you all. So basically, this wrap up the presentation for today. So we left around 20 minutes for Q&S section, which for those who are having yeah. questions or have doubts in Utah, feel free to type in the Q&S section. Now we will review it one by one. Is yes. it okay, man? Yeah, before that, yeah. Uh, you can throw your questions now, okay? Uh, before we review to all your questions, we need to have a favor from every one of you, okay? So, uh, I'm going to launch a poll here, okay? I need you guys a favor to, on yeah, okay, to, there's no right, there's no wrong, so please answer your most honest, answer. I'll be launching this one for 15 seconds. Then after that, we will continue with our Q&A session. Okay, on air. Yeah, this is just a poll, yeah, so there's no right or wrong. Just uh, pick something that most relevant or close to you. The question will be how coronavirus actually have changed your study plan. Okay, first you might select not affecting, and not affecting anything. You have to worry, guys. There's no right, there's no wrong. We just want to see the trends only. So please. We uh, just need to check the trend. Uh, so, how the coronavirus actually might affect everyone. In fact, they're already affecting us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, maybe I, I, I'll give this one uh, about one minute. So, we, get, we have another 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, I give them around 30 seconds. Uh, you guys can click on the poll here. Mm hmm. Hey Amen. Something off topic. I just remember this uh, SPM school level is 02, 2002, which same age as Utah. Wow. <laughs> Special batch. This one. Okay, guys. Uh, two seconds. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. How come now. my screen all go black? Ken, can you see me? Okay. Okay, now yeah. uh, let's okay. review all the questions here. So yeah, sure. we try our best to answer to your questions. Hope that there's no weird, weird questions, lah, you guys. Huh? Okay, maybe we start at the, the first question, right? Yes. So there's no name here. Okay, we'd like to know about the equipment and facilities used in the multimedia design course. Feel free to share this information. I think this one, I think we should... Uh, uh, inform, uh, the, inform the students. This one, I can share you a bit of this one now since I in touch with the lecturers before. So for the multimedia design course is a very wide range. Uh, you refer to graphic design or uh, maybe game design. Or, uh, I'm not sure. But generally, they're using the illustrations, Adobe Illustration like 3D X Max, Photoshop's, uh, helping them to do this kind of designing as well. And they're also using like uh, for game development, they're using some Unity or even special engine software to help them in this kind of crafting their products. Okay, so in here, I guess you did not specify which type of multimedia courses you're referring to. So maybe you can email to us so we can send you a list what kind of uh, 
so-called equipment or facility you needed for your program, okay? Because uh, for those facilities needed for broadcasting and also game development is very different. But both yeah. of them also consider multimedia design, <laughs> okay? We, we can liaise to our faculty, so maybe if you email to us, we provide you with the details that you need. Yes, yes. Please, please email to us the specific program you want to know, then we'll let you know what is the software or equipment you needed. Lah. Okay? Alright, next up, we have Chinzi. Hmm. <coughs> okay, Chinzi, hmm. you are asking, when we are studying foundation, the degree that we are leading to is not fixed. Can we still change it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good questions. Yeah, you still can change. Maybe after you finish your foundation, if let's say uh, you feel like to change for your degree program, you can always refer to our admission to apply for a program transfer. Okay. And then it is subject to the approval by the university, whether you can get it or not. Right. So normally it will look into your results. If, if let's say your foundation, you're performing well, there's a high chance of you getting the programs that you like to transfer lah, okay? Mm -hmm. so it's actually a case-by-case -case situation. But we really encourage you guys uh, to firm with your decision. So uh, we do understand that maybe for now you are thinking of doing something else. Uh, well, well, you are doing your foundation within one year, you have, uh, you know, exposure, maybe some influence from your from your parents, uh, sorry, from your friends, from, from the lecturers. So you might tend to change to another program. You are, you are still welcome to apply for a program transfer. But the result is case by case, subject to your uh, academic results, right? Exactly. Okay. okay. Next. Okay, the third question, anonymous as well. Okay. Hi, I want to ask what is the difference of computer science degree course in Utah compared to other uni? Okay. Is there any advantage on study computer science degree on Utah? Okay, as I just now <laughs> share with you all, uh, studying in Utah, of course, uh, as I mentioned, they provide, we provide a lot of these uh, up-to-date technologies and also blending with the latest information we get from the company as well. So for computer science, or I can say IT, actually Utah, I collaborate with like Huawei, Cisco, Microsoft, we also have their dedicated lab in FICT, which is a faculty of information and communication technology in our Kampa campus. So I can say our program is actually quite up, it's not actually, it's up to date, okay? They provide, sorry, my screen go dark. So you can provide or equip yourself with a very strong fundamental. And our computer science degree also have this kind of branches for you to choose where you want to specialize in maybe AI, AI, sorry, artificial intelligence or in mobile or even software engineering. Okay. All right. So I hope that would be helpful. And then uh, we have about 10 minutes to go. So, okay. We have a question here from Saravanan. Can I get contact number of person in charge to discuss about medical costs? Okay, sure. Okay, uh, Saravanan, I will share with you our hotline number for uh, medicine and health science program. Hope you are here and take note of this number, yeah? Okay, for uh, inquiry regarding medicine and health sciences program, you guys can always contact this hotline at 016-390-5466. Okay, I repeat, 016-390-5466. One more time, 016-390-5466. Right? I hope you got that. Okay. okay. Now, with a lot of time, we try to speed up the Q&A section because uh, if other unanswered questions, maybe you can leave your email here. We can email back to you. Or later, Wisma, we will share you the details to how mm -hmm. to contact us. Okay? No, so, yeah. so next question. question. I cannot uh, answer to everybody, but later on I'll share with you guys the channel that you can uh, that you can go to approach us uh, to have a further discussion. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, Richman, let us uh, speak through this uh, question. Uh, I saw a few questions were quite simple. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so is a full scholarship available for our foundation program? Yes, uh, depends on your SPM result. If you're able to score nine A's and above, you will get a 100% tuition fee waiver. So for eight A's, you're entitled for 50%. For seven A's, you're entitled for 25%. As simple as that, okay? 
Right, and then next up we have uh, this one. Mm. Uh, this one by who? Oh, there's no name. Is there any music course? Sorry, in Utah at the moment we don't have any music class. We don't have any music course at the moment. Yeah. So you can look at our website for the full list of our programs available. Even just now we are we went through our programs available in Utah. Right. Okay. 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 Next, may I ask how long will the transferring of offer cost take? Oh, actually, quite fast. Uh, just my experience. I previously joining foundation in. Uh, Science is leading to biochemistry. After study for one sem, I know further I changed to biotechnology. I think it's just within one week. So I submit the form within one week, you time uh, give me the confirmation I can switch to the program. As simple as that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Again, uh, by Saragwanan, what is the price for foundation in Utah? Okay, guys, uh, we have two types of foundation foundation in arts and also foundation in science. Foundation in arts will be uh, 10,150 for one year. And then for foundation in science is 10,500, uh, right, Ken? Yep, 10,400. Okay, okay. Uh, the information, all the information you can see from our website, the details of the programs and also the, the fees. Okay, next, another question. Uh, same thing, I just successfully registered in Bachelor Graphic Design. If I want to change to Bachelor Digital Animation, can I change it through online? Yeah, you can get the form online, but after you fill it out, you still need to uh, send it back to our admission or pass to the faculty. Then we still need to go through your application form and then see whether approved or not. Okay, you can get it from the admission FAQ. Okay. All right. If you no idea, you just send email to us. We will let you know where you can get the form. Okay, and then uh, I I I believe uh most of students would like to ask about this one can. The foundation mm. program starts yep. in first yep, 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 yep. And for those really register and get the offer letter from Utah. The foundation program start, uh, starts in first June by e-learning, yes. So at the moment, uh, the class will be conducted online. So it is important for those who have already received an offer and maybe you guys have made a payment to Utah to join us during the e-orientation day. Uh, we will start this one on 15 of May, 2020. Ne next Friday, right, Ken? Okay, next yep. Friday. Uh, we'll start at 8.30 uh, a.m. So uh, when you visit that website, the orientation website, you can get the most information uh, regarding your classes, the, the online learning system. Even during e-orientation, we will have a mock, uh, mock uh, online uh, lesson for you guys, mm -hmm. especially students. Last. So you guys can experience before the real class started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Until when? until MCO lift up, until the Ministry of Higher Education allows students to come back to campus. But we will inform you guys at least four weeks in advance before yep. you come back to our campus so that you can make further arrangement for accommodation, for example. So we won't ask you to return to the campus uh, immediately. All of a sudden, lah, we won't do that. At least four weeks before we will inform to you guys. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, okay, here a question from Aaron. What is the difference between the two Bachelor of Accounting program? Okay, good. So as I mentioned, our accounting have three years and four years. The major difference is because of the MIA recognition, which stands for the Malaysia Institute of Accountant. So for the four years bachelor degree program, actually we get the recognition from MIA, which means the student who select or study the four years bachelor degree, once they graduate working in relevant field for three years, you will get the charter accountant straight with an exam. So you're unable to do so for three years, as simple as that. Okay, this is the major differences between the four years and also three years accounting program. Okay, next questions. Okay, next one. Another popular question, Ken. Which one? <laughs> What is the difference between Utah and Ta UC? Okay, guys, uh, so you guys don't get what's that. <laughs> so, uh, Utah and Ta UC actually is two different institutions. Yeah? Yep. Maybe because of the name, you guys confuse. And Utah, you just know that we have two campuses only. We have one in Sungai Long, Banda Sungai Long, and we have one in our Kampa campus in Perak. That's it. So, it means that Utah is Utah, Ta UC is Ta UC. Uh, Ta UC two different institutions. That's it. Yep. Don't think much. <laughs> yes, right? Exactly. Okay, next. Is there any professional recognition for computer science degree? 
or it's just an MQL certification after this degree. Okay, at this moment for computer science, we do not have any professional bodies who like to regulate the IT area. So yeah, basically it's just an MQL certification for this degree. But no need to be so worried about this because our IT is quite strong. Uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, this kind of collaboration with Huawei, Cisco, Microsoft. So yeah, students will learn a lot of latest technology from that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Ken, I think we pick up the last question here. La. Sorry guys, we can't answer to most of the questions. We have a long list of questions here. So we, we, yeah, we still got around 16 questions to go. <laughs> later, uh, I will share with you uh, the channel that you can interact with us. Uh, yep. So that you can ask us and we can have uh, some interactions. Okay, mm. uh, the last question here that we'd like to pick up. Okay, this one. Is it possible for UEC students to attend degrees without diploma? Definitely. Because mm, yeah. uh, UEC is actually, it's like the same level like diploma, right? So if let's say you are from UEC, you graduated from UEC, you meet the requirement to enter to the UEC, let's say you have 5B. For example, the minimum entry requirement using UEC is 5B. You can apply directly to the university. Uh, let's, uh, for example, you can apply directly to Utah, uh, direct to degree programs, okay? If let's say you don't have, you uh, the, the, the result doesn't meet the requirement, let's say you only have 4B or maybe 3B, you still can join Utah, but you will start off with foundation before you can proceed to your bachelor degree. Lah. Okay, hope this one okay. will uh, clarify. Mm -hmm. I think that's only the time that we have, guys, sorry, that we can't answer to yeah. most of the sorry questions. About that. Okay, uh, guys, let me share with you, yeah. Uh, okay. Next slide. Okay, this over with our Q and A. Ah. Uh, this is the place where you can have a session with us. Okay, we are available every day, from Monday to Sunday. Okay, uh, for eight hours, ten to six, you can interact with us. You can go to our study.utah.edu.my or study.utah.edu.my/cn. This one is for Chinese website. If let's say you are comfortable in Mandarin, you can go to CN website. Okay, there'll be a button on your bottom right, uh, on your screen, mobile or so PC. There's a small pop-up there. Yes, you can click on that button from 10 to 6. Okay, feel free to click on that button. You can chat with us. So we will be there to answer to most of your questions, guys. Yep. All right. So anything to say again? Uh, so basically that's all. I'm so sorry. There's a still few questions we unable to answer yeah, right because now because for now us and time. We, yeah, no, I believe we have a second seminar uh, upcoming soon. I think uh, we will have the announcement in Facebook soon. Yep. That one will be in Chinese version, if not mistaken. So for those who prefer in Chinese, uh, we might see you in next week. So follow closely in our Utah Facebook, yeah? Yeah, guys, so with that, uh, thank you very much for joining us. So we hope that you have a valuable lesson, valuable information so that you can share among your friends and mm. uh, hope this one can help you to decide on your career path, on your study. Okay, guys, again, thank you very much. Stay safe, okay? Uh, and we hope to see you in Utah. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys, thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.